New background, who this? Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel where today I'm following the theme from my last video which was like a scary one and today's video is gonna be the scary tag. There are seven questions on this list and I'm gonna sh I'm gonna go through them all and answer them for you guys. Question number one. Scariest real life experience. And I'm gonna ignore my video from last week because that would be up there with the scariest moments of my life. If you didn't see it, here's a clip. Ah! Oh my god! Holy fuck! Uh, I'm gonna have to think about that one. Hmm. Honestly, I'm gonna have to say when I was about 11 or 12, me and a group of my friends went back to one of their houses. They had got Paranormal Activity 1 just when it came out on DVD and oh my god, I could not sleep for literally two weeks after. As you know from my last video, I hate scary things and that, even when I was younger, was way worse. I'm kind of better now at watching scary movies, but that was awful. There's one scene in that movie where she's in bed and next thing the sheets kind of there's like a wave in the sheet and like there's no one there but it happens. Every time I saw a lump in my bed I pat it down most of the time it was my leg. Probably the scariest moment of my life. I had a pillow in front of my face for the whole movie. I looked like a right biatch. Question number two. Scariest paranormal act- Scariest paranormal- the Scariest paranormal activity. No. Ah! Scariest paranormal experience. Now, this is a story that creeps me out. There was a period for about one week and I'd say it was like six months ago when my room turned into a ghost ville. During that week or two weeks, three times this happened. I went in, I was about to go to bed, brush my teeth and all, turn on the light, it didn't go on. Don't know what happened. So it was like, I pressed it on, black. Nothing happened. So I ran over to the table beside my bed, which has the my smaller light on it. Turned that one on, that one on fine. I stayed up for like half an hour, an hour, watching YouTube videos, checking my Instagram, all that sort of stuff. Then, turned off the little light, went to bed, ran. Sometimes I wake up in the middle of the night at like, I don't know, I think this time was like, uh, what, you know what? I don't even know what time it was. I woke up, the light was on. Three times that happened to me in about two weeks. The light just wouldn't just wouldn't turn on. And then when I woke up in the middle of the night, it was on. What? And at the same time, another paranormal experience, activity, thing happened, which was, when I went to bed, it was a, a different night. Different nights. This happened to me twice. I went to bed, I've got a dull bed. Imagine I've got a dull bed. And I've got a pillow on this side, a pillow on this side. It's not making sense, I know. I always sleep on the pillow nearest to the wall and like I literally use the bottom corner of the pillow like I, only, I don't like put my head in the middle of the pillow so yeah I'd sleep on that and I never ever really go on the pillow I wake up in the morning I'm on this pillow right here but this pillow over here was turned 90 degrees and was perfectly at the edge of my bed oh, hell no. it happened to me twice it, well, I don't think it was me unless I'm sleepwalking or otherwise there's some paranormal activity stuff going on in my room. The pillow started here and then when I woke up, it was at the edge of my bed that way. This is really awkward. I can't do it. You just need to trust me. It was weird. Question number three. Have you ever known anyone convicted of a violent crime? Not that I know of. Question number four. Are you afraid of the dark? Why or why not? I am not afraid of the dark unless it's after I've seen a scary movie. Then terrified. Petrified. Mad. Scared. Question number five. Does your hometown have any scary stories or legends? Well, I know it has one legend. Ha! Gay! Does it have any scary stories? Um, apparently, there are, I don't believe in scary stories really. There is a, a banshee down the road from me. And a banshee is like a woman, like a ghost woman, when you hear her scream, cry, whatever, uh, apparently someone close to you is gonna die. Yeah. And apparently some woman died in a shed up the road 
and yeah, she's a banshee now. But that's the only legend I think I know of this town. Village. Question number six. What's your favorite urban legend? First of all, let me Google what an urban legend is. Oh, oh, I know what it is now. It's like Bloody Mary. I'm just gonna go ahead and say uh, the Bloody Mary one because I have heard about it. I'm not exactly sure what the whole thing is, but I know if you say it like three times in a mirror, she's supposed to appear behind you. I know I just said I don't believe in that stuff, but I'd still be too much of a wimp to do that. I'd never say it three times because then she'd just turn up behind you and I don't even know, does she kill you? She probably does. Imagine she didn't kill you. What'd she do? She'd just stand there. Hmm. Anyway, that's my favorite one. Question number... Last one. What is your scariest nightmare? My scariest nightmare of all time. I used to get it a lot when I was younger. Don't get it anymore. I'm not even sure if I have nightmares anymore. My scariest nightmare of all time, I used to get it all the time when I was younger, was of this person, I don't know her name, from the Powerpuff Girls. Red Devil, she had a weird voice, he had a weird voice, don't even know. It was so long ago now, I don't remember what the nightmares were, but I'm pretty sure I was in her house. I'm pretty sure she was just there. I don't even think she was chasing me. She, he, let me find out what it is. Him. Oh, it's called him, so I presume it's a boy. Him who, ha, come to home. What the hell is that? So yeah, those are all the questions in the scary tag. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a like. Give it a like. Comment and tell me what your scariest paranormal activity experience was in your lifetime. And subscribe if you'd like to see a new video like this every Monday.